Hey guys, and welcome back for another day of No Bare Lips November. Today's natural product is by a company called Eddie Perez, and that is the name of the founder. So the company's been around for about 18 years, and she, the founder, Eddie, was I think that's how you say it. I was listening to how she said it in a video and that's how she said it, but also because she has like a beautiful um, Spanish accent. So um, might be might be said a little bit different than how I'm saying it, but she was born in Mexico and she grew up there and her grandfather was a medicine man and her family was just really, really focused on obviously like everything being very natural. So she eventually started her company and I think this was one of the first products that they put out, so that's why I'm especially excited to do this for No Bare Lips November, but I'm also excited because she said when she was little, her mom would literally go to the fridge and cut a beet and then take the beet and like put it on her cheeks and like blend it in um, as like a blush. So the product that we're taking a look at today is the Beetroot Cheek and Lip Tint. Now this does come in two colors, um, there's one color called Joy and it's like a deeper red. I was kind of too scared to get that one only because I didn't see how it looked on the model, I only saw how it looked in the tube and in the tube it looked like a really like scarlet scarlet red, um, but this one looked a little bit more fun. So it's almost like a neon kind of fuchsia color, which I was just like, whoa, like I really gotta try this and like see what this is all about. But yeah, so you can use this on your cheeks and on your lips, which is really nice. And that's kind of like a thing that her brand is, I don't wanna say all encompassing of, but they really focus on um, what like multitasking, is that multitasking products? I can't, what is the word that I'm looking for? It's a double multi. It's a multi-multi. Basically, they make products that you can use for more than just one thing, but in a nice higher end way. Um, the other thing is, is she is so focused on um, packaging and something that she calls ecolution. So what she means by this is just analyzing their like eco footprint and seeing how they can adjust it in terms of, yeah, like their packaging, um, and also being mindful of how that affects the product. We are going to apply this to our lips, obviously, because it's No Real Lips November, but then we're also going to take this and apply this to our cheeks. Now, because this is a stain, they do say to apply it quickly and to blend it in really quickly into the cheeks. Otherwise, as I assume, you'll get like that kind of like splotchy blend going on. So she says either to apply this to a moisturized face or you can apply it over your foundation. I haven't applied any bronzer as you can tell I'm literally like a ghost right now. So I'm hoping that this uh, hoping that this adds a little, little color to my face. I am just going to take this and I'm going to apply this to my lips first. She does say you can either apply it to your whole like mouth um, or you can just apply it to the middle of the top and bottom and then kind of like blend it out. So I think I'm going to do the second option just to kind of like start slow and then we'll see how it goes. What do you guys think? I think right now, just because I look so pale, this color is kind of like catching me off guard, just because it's like white, pink. But I do like the color. Oh, I have something in my nose. For a stain, this feels really nice. Like it does feel super, super light. It was kind of weird to apply, and I feel like that is going to be like a bit of a learning curve, just because you have to work quickly but you also, it's not like lipstick where you can use really like a brush in the same way just because it's sort of supposed to look like a little bit diffused. Okay, let's do our cheeks and then maybe if we feel like it, we can apply some more to our mouth. All right, so seeing as this is so pigmented, I'm only going to take a tiny bit. I'm gonna put it on my two fingers and then I'm gonna blend it into one cheek and then I will do the same to the other. So I'm literally just gonna do like a little Thank you. 
It's funny because most of the reviews that I was reading, they were saying that they prefer this as a lip product than a cheek product, but I feel like I'm kind of like the opposite. Like I like how quick and how just blended that was in terms of my cheeks. And I thought that it'd be way more pigmented, but it just blended out so easy and so quickly. Wow. Okay, that's really nice. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my cheeks just because I feel like I can. Okay guys, I personally think that that's really pretty, but let me know what you think. The mouth though, I think I'm gonna have to get used to this as a lip product. Okay, second application. I like this, especially now that I've gotten like, I feel like the texture and the consistency of the product with the cheek application, I feel more comfortable applying the lip. But um, yeah, so that's today's product. I like this as a cheek product a lot, but I don't love, love it as a lip product, at least not as much as I did with the Axiology um, little mini balms or balmies, um, but I still really like this product. Um, I think maybe it's just the pink that's throwing me off because if this was red, I'm much more of a, like a red person. Um, yeah. So that's today's video guys. I hope you liked it. If you do, hit like down below, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys later.